Hi friends, I am Harsha Pekka. Many people, those who complete their engineering graduation or any equivalent degree, MCA or MSc Computer Science Engineering and they have the aspiration to become a software engineer. They do not have a clue of how to get into an IT software job. Those people who have completed their engineering or any equivalent degree and got their job in the campus village sites. They are going to become an IT software engineer to pursue their career further. Some people, they are going to go to higher studies into other, to other countries like USA, UK, Canada and different countries and they are pursuing their career there in, uh, by doing MS. And the people who had completed their graduation and they did not get the job in the campus placement and further they wanted to become a software engineer. They do not have or they do not know the right path to proceed in order to get into IT software field. So here I thought I could make some series of videos on career guidance about guiding the people in a right path to get into IT job. So there are different categories of people so that they are the BTEC graduate freshers, BTEC or BE graduate freshers, those who have recently completed their engineering and looking for a job. MCA or MSc freshers, those who, have recent, those who have recently completed and they wanted to get into IT field as a software engineer, they want to start their career and there are some other category of people, those who have completed their graduation, either engineering or MCA or MSc and after two years or three years or four years or five years, still they are struggling to find the job in IT field. And some people, they might, after they complete their graduation, they might have prepared for some uh, exams uh, for government exams or bank exams or some other equivalent uh, competitive exams where they were not able to crack the exams and such that they wanted to get into IT field and they wanted to get IT job to further pursue their career. So these are different categories of people we have in the market. So what about the job opportunities in IT? So what are the different technologies that one has to learn in order to get, it, get into an IT job and what are the different ways to learn a technology and what is that when you are learning the technology at a training center and what is that a software industry needs from a technical candidate, what they are exactly looking for. So this and all actually so many people they don't know. So that's the reason why I am going to make a series of career guidance videos to guide the freshers, to guide the people who had completed their graduation and they have got gap after their education or their uh, uh, education after their degree of one, two, three or four or five years or more and also those who have tried to get into other fields and they are not able to do it there but they still want, they, they are now wanted to come into IT software field. Or there are some other category of people who are doing some job like they are working in BPO or they are working in call centers or they are working in uh, banking uh, banking domain uh, where in the sales department or insurance department like this and some people those who are civil engineers they are working as a uh, civil engineer in the construction department but still where the people are not finding the opportunities to grow in their career their, their, life, their, their career is like a flat horizontal arc where they do not see the growth as prospects in the respective field currently where they are working and they, they wanted to get into IT in order for uh, uh, getting a good growth in their career ahead. So these type of different, uh, different uh, categories of people are there in the market, those who are looking for opportunities in the IT field. Do we really have these many opportunities in software field, uh, software field to compensate different categories of people, those who are there in the market? Yes, of course, we do have so many opportunities in software industry. So the only industry in this world which has a lot of opportunities which we can explore and we can become a software engineer and which has an exponential scope of growth that is being available only in the software industry. So you believe that in a software industry, three years, two years, three years experience with people also, they are getting the excellent salary packages, the packages you can't even believe like 25 lakh rupees per year like this and you might have seen so many uh, times in the news or somewhere like uh, 
uh, a 10th tenth, tenth, tenth standard student that has been hired by Google by offering the CTC package of 2 crore rupees per annum. An engineering pressure has been offered uh, by Microsoft with a package of 5 crore rupees per annum. So like this we might be hearing so many stories in the society that they got their IT, their dream IT job and they got the salaries which they did not expect. So why they will pay this much? Because the software field is something where there is no limit to that. People do not, many people they don't know about this. So what is the dedication that we have to show? And what are the different technologies that we learn, that we need to learn? And what is the way that we have to learn a technology? And so many people, they are afraid of coding. Is it only that the coding jobs are available in software field? And many people have this myth in their mind. After they complete their graduation, they are going to simply sit at their home, thinking like software job is difficult because it, it involves a lot of coding. Actually, this is not a fact. So there are many departments in the software industry where we can be a software engineer without the need of coding. So these type of job opportunities are available. And in this type of job opportunities also, we have an experiential growth hidden, which we need to explore and we need to work to uh, work passionately in that field and we are going to be successful for sure. And even if you become a software engineer with a development, as a developer, still you have a lot of opportunities and a lot of chances that you can become a software developer without the need of coding. So there are many tools available in the market. Using those tools, you can become a software engineer but no need to write any single line of code. So going forward in the next series of videos, I am going to clearly explain about what are the different technologies available in the market, what are the job opportunities, what are the ways that you have to learn the technology to reach the expectations of the industry and what are the non-coding technologies available, what are different departments where coding, non-coding, testing, admin, these type of different departments will be there in the software development life cycle. Which one you have to learn to get into which type of department where you can pursue your career as a software engineer. So going forward, I'm going to make videos explaining clearly about all this. So mainly, I'm going to focus on different categories of people in the upcoming videos. One is the people who start their career by joining into BTEC, MCA or MSc Computer Science. BTEC any branch and MCA Master of Computer Science and Computer Science Applications and MS, these people, how they have to uh, schedule their uh, timetable in order to learn uh, excellent technologies. By the time they come out of the college, they should have job in their hand. For this, what should be the planning that they should have? I am going to explain this. This is one aspect. And the second one is, those who have recently completed their engineering graduate graduation, what are the different technologies that they have to start learning and how they can apply for the job, how they have to find out the job opportunities in the market and how they have to present themselves in the interviews in order to get job as a freshman. This is second category of people, freshers from engineering or MCR and MSCA. And third category of people, those who have completed their engineering graduation and they did not work in any IT, any industry and they have a gap after their engineering of one year or two years or three years or five years, believe me, even after 15 years of gap, definitely you can get into IT field and you can become a software engineer. So what are the different ways to learn and how you can go ahead and take, take a step forward to become a software employee? Do not sit ID in the home, start somewhere, definitely you are going to get your dream job for sure. This category of people is uh, also, I am going to explain how to get your dream IT job. And the fourth category of people, those who have completed their graduation and they are working in different industries which are non-IT, non-information technology. Meaning that you might have completed your graduation and you are working in a BPO since past two years or three years or one year. Or you might be working in a call center. You might be working with a bank in insurance policy uh, like an outbound call center or policy center sales or card sales, something like this. Still you are not happy or you are not uh, content with what you are being provided by the organization in as a salary or something and you are not satisfied in the current job and you are looking for some uh, IT job and how you can start, where you can start, how you can get into IT field. This is the fourth category of people. 
and the fifth category of people, those who have completed their graduation in India and they, who, those who have uh, uh, who had fly to uh, USA, UK or Canada or any other countries and those who are pursuing their MS and after completing the MS and while they are doing the MS, what are the different technologies that they have to learn and focus if they wanted to get into IT field. So explaining about the career guidance and the path to, that you need to choose for all these different categories of people, I am going to make next series of videos. Follow my YouTube channel, subscribe to this channel, like this video if you can't like the content and be ready to get advised and to get guided to become successful in your career. Thank you very much for watching. Share this video with your friends, family members or any well-wishers if you like the content.